well you now you have the assumption of no autocorrelation okay that is there is no autocorrelation at all so what exactly it is what what does it mean that is suppose with time it should not happen that errors are increasing or decreasing okay one is that and of course second is that errors should not themselves be dependent upon the errors in the earlier period or errors in the future period okay so it should not be dependent upon that okay so what do you what do you mean is this that is with y and t okay and if your errors say have they have they have this kind of a structure okay so this might be like a seasonal uh, seasonality kind of uh, structure clear and then if you fit this line okay so there might be like equal errors here and there but are you, are you seeing this that you have once once you started here i mean there are some errors which are clustered around here then there are some errors which are clustered around here then there are some errors which are clustered around here then there are some errors which are clustered around here so it's like some some like something like sales okay now sales would be sales sales would be say if you have a trend of sales which is falling this quarter so you would expect the sales in the next quarter to to also fall okay so this this thing should not be there in the model okay so so um generally what what happens is that in case of serial correlation your ut is a function of the error term on the earlier earlier uh, error also okay that is error in this period is a function of the error in the earlier period also more generally you can even write error in this period to be a function of past history okay of errors and so on to this okay so what what do you mean by this of course so it depends upon this error error in the in uh, error in this period is dependent upon error in the earlier period plus some error term also okay which is again normally distributed with mean zero and variance sigma square we'll be talking about that later but this is what we not assuming okay so if you have the if you have the error structure which is which is uh, like this okay your which is which is like this okay say say error structure which is increasing okay so this is like positive autocorrelation this will be positive autocorrelation or positive serial correlation okay positive autocorrelation the error could be even like this where they are falling over time okay this is like negative autocorrelation this is like negative auto correlation and there could even be no correlation at all okay something like this okay i i'm sorry i have not uh this thing this is plus ui your minus ui plus ui and minus ui so this is the case of no autocorrelation and this is what we are expecting okay as we go on in the course i mean we'll be taking up more and more examples in order to clear what exactly the autocorrelation is what exactly no autocorrelation is a positive autocorrelation and no negative autocorrelation is so on and so forth so this is again one of the more um, important assumption of uh, of 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 our classical linear regression model thanks